Hi there. This part is being made from S1214 free cutting mild steel and it's for a vintage BSA motorcycle. That's an FC finishing insert set at a diameter which is just below the flats of the hex. I feel it sort of helps to stop the insert getting beaten around too much by the interrupted cut. That's an FC finishing insert from Sumitomo. Lay's slowing down now to 1800 RPM for the drill. That's just a standard stub drill. A feed of 0.1. Those chips that you can see, they're invariably the sort of chips that I get when the feed is correct for the drill. Very rarely do I see those twin spirals we're used to seeing when we use a drill press or something to drill a hole. This insert is a full form insert so it cuts the crest as well as the rest of the thread. It's taking 10 cuts, I think the recommended is probably about 7, but 10 works alright on this little lathe. This lathe is a Hercus PC200 run by a computer and um, runs in using DOS software. So it's fairly ancient. That's a 2mm wide parting tool. One of three that I use. That one's the toughest one I've got so to use it on hex is a good idea. You see the material stop? That's the first time I've used that. It's just a piece of stop. Normally I've been using just the tool and I pull the stock out to the tool. This is half a metre of hex so I thought that's pretty heavy to be banging around the uh, ground edge of the tool with so I actually decided to use a stock. As I said I haven't done it before I've always used the tool but I thought it was best to give the uh, ground edge on the tools a bit of a chance to uh, not get beaten around by me being heavy handed and pushing too hard on the stock to get it up to the stock. There's those chips again, see, no spiral. And I just use the drill to break the sharp edge. Chips are coming off reasonably well. Never have to worry about any roughness of the crest when you use a full form insert. They're brilliant. You do need one for each pitch that you cut, but it can be well worthwhile. There's the parting tool. Works so well. This is running in the subroutine, so it just keeps repeating. That's the finish I was getting from the parting tool. You can see there's a few marks where it's getting under the hex. That's a chip from the parting tool. Lost one of those, fell into my keyboard, had to go find another one. Wasn't easy. See the shape of the chip on the right hand side? That's making the chip less than the width of the groove that the insert is creating. So they tend not to jam up. This is an 80 degree FC insert. Parts being held on the threads in a 5C half inch collet. Didn't have any damage on the threads. This is the first time I've run this tapping cycle using the high range on the lathe. I tried using the low range but 1200 is the top speed you can get and the finish 
I was getting with the um, insert doing the turning was just unacceptable. If you don't run fast enough, you won't get a good finish with carbide. So I ended up running it at 2400 in the high range and I was able to get the tap working at 800 RPM. So that's the fastest I've ever tapped anything in the lathe. So I was quite pleased. Yeah, drill's not very well lined up. It wasn't making a lot of them. There's the tap going in, stops, reverses, out, done. And there is the finished part. Thank you for watching.